On Monday, March 4th, a vehicle driving south on US-23 had spontaneously caught fire. First responders from Pikeville Fire and Police and Pike County Sheriff's Office were at the scene almost immediately to assess the situation and douse the flames. There were no reported injuries, and the cause of the fire has yet to be determined. First units arrived at uh, 1051 from Station 3 and uh, found that the vehicle was uh, involved with fire uh, and smoke. Uh, the two occupants were out of the vehicle. Um, at that time, they went ahead and shut down one lane uh, until the uh, engine got there, and then due to the public safety, we went ahead and shut down 23 for not only for their, their sake, but also our sake as well, and notified the PD that, uh, that they need to come and help us uh, shut down the road and divert traffic. Also, the uh, highway department was notified due to the fact that uh, the fire had started in the rear of the vehicle, and they had just filled the tank up, so we had fuel that was on fire running down 23. So we had the highway department come up with a load of sand to uh, help out with that. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, your local vision experts. Experienced doctors using state-of-the-art technology. Choose from top designer frames from Oakley, Ray-Ban, Nike, and more. We accept Medicaid and Medicare. Plus, most insurances are accepted. Norton Eye Center in Pikeville, next to Tractor Supply. Pikeville Fire Department extends their thanks to Pikeville Police and Pike County Sheriff's Office for their cooperation. Clearing the roadways during an emergency is no easy feat. It takes a lot of people to shut down a, a, a 23. It's not just an easy thing to do, especially in the middle of the day at lunchtime. So you have to have uh, several different agencies helping and coordinating with that. Uh, Pikeville PD was very helpful. Um, so was the Pike County Sheriff's Office. So we, you know, we rely on everybody to work to good, you know, we all worked really, really well together. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.